Hey folks, Kayak DIY here coming at you from the Kaku booth at iCast in Orlando, Florida. So you guys might be familiar with them. They make the Wahoo series of kayaks. They also made the Voodoo, which was incredibly popular. You can motorize it, you could paddle it, just tons of versatility. Here's a few screenshots of what the Voodoo's like. But this year, they came out with what was essentially the Voodoo pedal, but they're calling it the Zulu. Okay, so right now we're going to do a bow through stern walkthrough on their latest craft, the Zulu. Okay, bow to stern. We have right in the furthest point of the bow, we have a drain plug. Looking down, we have a similar hull shape to what we saw on the Voodoo last year. We got a generous grab handle. We got a front hatch space area. We got track mounts embedded on both sides here. And then this here is the pedal drive system. <laughs> so this here is a prototype at the moment, still getting refined, but it gives you a little bit of an idea of what they're gonna be offering. Nice large deck space. This thing here I think would be perfect for fly fishermen. I think they are gonna love this. So they have their paddle on the side there. This seat here is not an adjustable seat, but it is a very robust seat. So for you bigger guys out there, I know you guys message me a lot, wondering what paddle crafts are out there on the market that you can go out on. This one is definitely one of them. You can stand up on this thing. The seat capacity is not even one I asked about because honestly, this thing's so robust. I don't know of anyone that's gonna meet the, the weight capacity. I think I think you're all, all good on that regard. Looking in the back here, more track spaces on both sides. Large scupper holes for draining. And then where this thing really shines is in the versatility of how you can rig it. So you got several power pole mounts on the back. I count five. And then you also have a hatch here in the back. We'll open that hatch here. The nice thing about having a hatch here in the back is it gives you in-haul access to be able to do further rigging if you want. So folks, here's my opinion. With the Voodoo last year becoming such an incredible hit, I've seen tons of them on the water. Uh, it certainly didn't disappoint. I don't think that the Zulu is going to disappoint either, folks. I think once we start seeing the production model and we start seeing them out on the water, I think folks are going to fall in love with this craft. Check out the link in the video description below for more details. Check out 